Yeah, it's just off the lean now. So, got a letter. And the letter is from L I N I K Financial. Now, what it's about is many, many years ago, I went to get a vehicle. The said vehicle was a said XEO. Most of you would know that as the old Audi A4. It was a uh, silver car on an 09 registration. Now, at the time, I drove for a very large company in Newcastle and nationwide. They've got depots everywhere. And... I injured myself at work. Right up here. And um, I was uh, told by one of my bosses who was an assistant ops manager that if I didn't return to work that I didn't have a job and he eventually terminated my contract. Now I spoke to a company which is linked to that company, Money Barn, and they were providing the finance. The car was beautiful. I really enjoyed the car. And when it got to the point where I didn't have a job anymore, I volunteered to give the car back. Because over month after month after month, ringing money barn trying to work a deal out which we are meant to do yeah if you take out an agreement and you fall into difficulties rather than stick your head in the sand you are meant to get in touch with said company i did that and sometimes i would do that not once per week maybe twice per week and they, we couldn't reach a resolution so the honest thing was this to say to the company look I'm struggling and there's the keys there's the documents you take it away and that particular day when it went on a transporter, I was at work and it was my last day at work and I said to that company in the weeks leading up to it when they were talking about me volunteering to return the car and I thought of it, I spoke to my partner at the time about it and saying I didn't really want to let the car go because I absolutely loved it. Now here's the kicker. When the car was taken away, weeks and weeks later, I got a letter from Money Bar to tell me that the car had gone through an auction and the car had reached evaluation. Not that I wanted to know this information because as I said to Money Bar, it was simple. Once the car 
leaves my control. You have the, the V5, you have the MOT certificate, etc. And you have the keys for that vehicle. I wash my hands. I've done as much as I can do. Now, what I'm going to do, <coughs> pardon me, I live in a different area completely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to photograph that letter, what you just hear. I am going to send that to Ruth Edwards MP. And I'm going to say to her that I tried my very best, which we are told to do, you know, to contact who your creditors are, etc. They weren't going to listen. It was all about this. And I want her to look into it because this. The amount of money that is on this letter, bear in mind, I no longer drive the car. I haven't drove the car for, what, five years? They keep sending me a letter saying I owe money. Now, as I said to you just before there, the kicker, and I think this is wrong. I really do think this is wrong. When a car is given back, and you agree that, as I stated in my telephone conversations, we can't reach an agreement where I can keep the car, so yet I will volunteer to give you the car back. But what they did was this. That car went through an auction and that car did not go to a member of the public. No. That car went to another car dealership. At a reduced price which I believe is wrong and this company they want what's left from the sale to a car dealership in the trade to what they thought the value of the car was and as I've said many many times to Money Barn I am not going to pay a penny not a single penny if you are willing to do some kind of arrangement with me and I can keep the car. I will volunteer to give it up, which happened. But what I won't do is pay a company, no matter who they are, I will not pay a company for somebody else to drive a vehicle I drove and I owned. So, the amount is 3700 and to be honest to this company which is based P.O. Box 107 Carafilly uh, Postcode is CF8333 double G you can keep sending letters, you can, but as I say, I'm going to pass this now to the MP to turn around and 
had her team ring you because I think that's bang out of order. I think it's bang out of order that when that car was taken by your transporter to an auction, that car went to a car dealership. Yes, it was in, it was in immaculate condition. But as I see it, that car should have went to a member of the public. Not a car dealership who, let's be honest, and I have looked at this, car dealerships will buy a car, they'll give it a little bit of a spruce up, and then they will sell that car at a profit. Yes, at a profit. So I'm not paying any money to this company at all. Nothing. Because at the end of the day, Moneyball were not willing to listen. And when I volunteered that car to go, it's gone. Okay? Thank you very much for listening. And as I say, this will be going to Ruth Edwards MP for Rushcliffe.